Well, this hike has begun inauspiciously. Oh my God. We were confronted with a major traffic delay due to tree trimming. And then when we arrived, someone is emptying the porta potty <laughs> and the smell is just foul. So bad. Um, Elise's water pouch leaked for the second straight day, this time all over the car. The entire two liters of water so is we now are, inside of our SUV. So we are once again on short water, but this time, we're doing it in the heat of the day. It's just after 10 o'clock, so this hike will go right through the heat. It's we really vastly underestimated how far North Dome was from <laughs> Taft Point. Driving-wise, so, oops. it took a while. So anyway, we are now attempting about a 10-mile hike in the heat of the day on short water. Wish us luck. <laughs> uh -oh. Adam is such a grump of right now. <laughs> I have no hat. <laughs> Elise's water leaked all over the car. My car is giving me all kinds of error messages and fault messages. Adam's so upset to be on this trail right now. I think we got to give him like a moral pep talk. We're in beautiful Yosemite. This trail is going to be amazing. We're going to get great views of Half Dome. Right? We'll deal with the water that's all over Adam's car when we get back. Oh, boo boo. Okay, well, while I was mildly irked. Mildly, you were so irked. By Elise's janky water bladder spilling two full liters of our precious H2O into God knows what sensitive electrical recesses of my car. I have been greatly heartened by the fact that the first mile of this trail has been shady, cool, and Really beautiful trail running. If the next couple miles are like this, I think that my mood will be sufficiently elevated to say that it's good. Coming out of the forest for a bit, starting to get our first pretty spectacular views into the valley. What an amazing trail for a run. We decided we'd see how we felt when we got to the Indian Ridge turnoff to see if we wanted to add a couple more miles. Here's the turnoff. What do you think? I think we're feeling it. I think we're yeah. feeling it. Of course we are. A couple extra miles. Let's go run some ridge. Well, I thought we were going to run up this, but I don't know if you can tell. It's pretty damn steep. Not even Adam's running it right now. Trailblazing our way trying to get to the top of Indian Rock while also not falling. There's this really cool arch. Oh my goodness. I think we have found ourselves at the top of Indian Rock. Awesome. This is not too shabby. Whoa. Dang, is that Half Dome? Yeah, it's Half Dome. Is anybody surprised that Adam is snacking here? The snack saga continues. <laughs> well, as we share yet another summit completely alone, no one else around, absolutely beautiful views. Uh, I have to say my bad mood has dissipated entirely. Yay. I feel fantastic. Good news. Elise is enjoying awesome. her walk along the arch. soaked in the beauty of this Indian arch and now we just got to descend safely oh my gosh yeah we'll see off to North Dome yeah. Adam with the butt slide so technically we should probably be trail running this trail running. but we had to slow down because what a view of half dome over there looking forward to the views from the top of North Dome we got about a mile left. So we are coming up on North Dome. We just gotta get down this bad boy and we'll be there. Elise is boldly navigating the granite North approach Dome. to North Dome wow. on her behind. They're not joking around with this one. I believe that I will try to 
negotiated on my feet. Butt is However, I may wind up on my butt. Nope, it worked fine. <laughs> got our final little push up the face of North Dome and then we'll be there. We have reached the top of North Dome. Yeah, Grumple Umbagus, aren't you so happy we did it? I actually am, yeah. I mean, the views of Half Dome over here, not to mention Clouds Rest up there, and the entire Yosemite Valley definitely make this worth it. However, you might think that having negotiated three peaks, our third peak, it would be all downhill from here. However, you would be wrong because North Dome is one of the few peaks where you actually come down to get to it. Oh no. So our day is not yet done. If we can just make this climb and get back to the car, we'll get a well-earned dinner and rest. And a nap. <laughs> So there's two ways to beast up this final ascent. You can either go off to the right, which kind of moseys on around the mountain, eventually getting you to the top, or you can go up this steep bad boy. Now, who wants to bet which choice Adam made? That's right, we're taking the steep way, guys. <laughs> so you can see Elise trying to force her way up on her rapidly tiring lamb legs as Elise closes the last few meters of our homeward ascent we see the valley behind us north dome now far below and our last good view of half dome there in the distance okay well as they say it's all downhill from here all right, we're just running right on through because Adam is so ready for a nap. All right, so we are nearing the end of our North Dome hike. So what went right, what went wrong? Well, honestly, what went wrong happened before the hike even started with two liters of our precious water spilling from my water bladder directly onto the car floor. <laughs> Adam was not too happy. <laughs> but since then, I gotta say, pretty much everything has gone right. This is, without question, the most underrated mm -hmm. hike, I would say, in Definitely. Yosemite. We, uh, what started kind of dubiously for us, ended in triumph <laughs> with two glorious miles through a shaded forest, and then just two miles of beautiful exposed ridge with views that go on forever. It was really magnificent. You guys gotta do it. Yeah, I would definitely say this is a must do hike. North Dome, um, trail runners, you can run the whole thing if you're not completely exhausted as we were after doing a previous venture this morning. But uh, you really can't lose with this one, it's a great hike.